Hey, greetings everybody, welcome back. Um, so not a very long video, just because I'm still tired from the travel. Um, as a matter of fact, I just woke up right now, like, driving throughout last night uh, through that winter storm, um, you know, getting, I think it was like uh, almost a foot of snow dumped on us, <laughs> having to pull over and wait, and uh, yeah, all of it, the drive back was a lot longer. Usually. Uh, for where I was coming from back home, it's like a 13 hour drive. Uh, this ended up being like a 21, almost 22 hour drive. Uh, well, trip, not drive. Like we didn't drive at a certain point. But yeah, um, you guys will probably see it. I got, yeah, we had snow dumped on us and everything. It was really bad. Um, so yeah, I made it home. Um, obviously tired and everything. So shout out to those that, um, you know, wish me safe travels on social media. Those that follow me. Thank you guys uh, so much for that. Uh, well, what I wanted to talk about quickly in this video obviously has to do with uh, carrier performance, uh, what worked for me uh, during my road trip, where I was at, places I went to, and on my road trip back. And um, it was basically between three carrier, well, three, three, uh, two companies, three uh, brands, basically. Um, so the first one was Boost Infinite, uh, second one was Boost Mobile. Third one was visible by Verizon. Um, I have all three. I have an eSIM on my uh, iPhone with visible, and this has the Boost Mobile prepaid uh, SIM. And then um, my Pixel 7 had the uh, Boost Infinite T Mobile access. So that's the reason why I had both Boost Infinite and Boost Mobile. Uh, Boost Infinite having the T Mobile access, uh, Boost Mobile prepaid having the ATT access, and then visible having Verizon. And you know what, this, in a nutshell, basically, uh, Boost Infinite T-Mobile Access was pretty much the most reliable uh, where I was at. Now, this is from where I live to where my dad lives to areas in between and the road trip. Uh, Boost Infinite T-Mobile Access uh, pretty much kept me covered when I needed it, when I needed to do things, uploading videos, sharing my, my adventures, and, uh, you know, just doing my basic thing. Uh, Underneath that would be Boost Mobile prepaid AT&T access. Um, there were areas where there was dead zones along the way, and so service dropped completely. Unfortunately, the weakest one out of all of them happened to be Visible. But yeah, Visible by Verizon um, is in third and was the weakest of all. Um, not that it had drop zones. Um, the several things that, you know, kind of disappointed me about Visible, and again, this is Visible's $25 plan, right? So I wasn't on their newly $35, used to be $45 plan, right, the Visible Plus, uh, maybe that would have yielded better results, uh, but the base did not, so uh, for me traveling, it didn't help at all. Um, yes, yeah, so it's, it's you know, access to Verizon's network, and you would think that, you know, uh, connect, you know, connectivity, availability, stability would have been at least on point. It wasn't. Um, there were places where T-Mobile and AT&T had 5G access, uh, Visible did not. It was on LTE, which was not a real big deal for me because as, as long as I had connection, was able to do things is what really mattered. And that's where the problem lied is that um, it was at times unusable, even though like it had very high latency um, and the speeds were just atrocious. Um, even at doing things and things getting kind of hung up, uh, it was very tough. And so, you know, it kind of, it kind of shocked me because I wasn't expecting, uh, visible to kind of sit in that. Cause in my city, visible does just fine. Um, I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, visible does pretty well in my city. Um, and so I was like thinking that this was going to be super reliable, uh, being outside. Um, yes, yeah, it's visible. But for it being outside, I thought, you know, it was going to be pretty, uh, pretty reliable. Um, as you see, it does, it does fairly well, you know, in my home city. It does fairly well. Uh, that was not the case. <laughs> and I had, uh, I had gotten visible only because I wanted a backup just in case that there was dead, dead zones for the uh, Boost Mobile AT&T that I would have some sort of coverage. And, um, yeah, that wasn't the case. It, it wasn't able to do that. So... Unfortunately, majority of the time, because I had basically the uh, dual SIM 
on the iPhone setup to switch between automatically, whichever had the better uh, connection. And I actually have two visible lines. And so the second one was um, on my Pixel 7, and that was set up the same way to switch um, when there was poor connectivity on one, it would switch to the other one's data. And uh, I'll just, I, I thought it wasn't working right because it was consistently connected to uh, 5G ultra capacity, which is T Mobile. And I was like, what? is going on here <laughs> and it just would not connect so you know i'm not saying this to tell people like don't sign up for visible or anything like that i'm i'm telling people about this so you guys know uh what to expect especially if you're in my region like you know going from like kind of like the west coast to midwest uh traveling along interstate 40 um if you're on Vis uh, visible's uh 25 dollar plan uh you're 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 bound to be uh a little aggravated as far as connection so um, that's all what i really wanted to say in this video that's not really I, what i have to say I'm not getting into the whole fucking tech thing uh deeply I'm just letting y'all know what works so first was boost infinite t-mobile access and second was boost mobile prepaid at&t access and dead last was visible by verizon that's all i gotta say in this video if you have any questions, uh, exactly what was going on, what was I doing, where was I at, how was the topography of the area, and, there, and all that stuff, you guys can ask it in the comments, and I'll answer it there. Until then, I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.